three, two, one. This is how to do a clove hitch. Uh, you might have seen the clove hitch done where you make loops. Um, that's great if you can get over the end of the stick. Um, for this one, I'm going to teach you how to do it so that when you're showing the children how to do it, they can use both hands on the rope. And what they need is a stick. It's about the same thickness as their thumb and about the length from the tip of their finger to their elbow. And they can balance it across their knees so they've got both hands free to work on the knot. It also works if they're sitting on a stool. You can balance it across as well. So just balance it across there. And you're going to imagine that your rope is like a snake. So you're going to hold the snake's head and you've got the snake's body and the snake's tail. So what you can do is hold the snake's head and make sure that's between your body and the stick. So the rest of the snake is in the gap. So the first thing you do is drop the snake's head over the top of the stick. And you reach underneath and hold the snake's head and pull it back up towards you. Then you take the snake's head across the stick into a cross shape or an X shape, an X shape there. And then on the other side you lean back underneath, hold onto the snake's head, pull it back towards you. You see that's starting to pull up a little bit there like a bridge. So what you do is you push the snake's head under the bridge, hold the head, hold the body and pull it tight. And that's a clue fitch.